Hey, my name is Luke Reed, and I'm going to be talking to you about automating Datadog monitors in Kubernetes. I'm a site reliability engineer at Fairwinds, where we provide both software and service offerings that help our clients succeed in the world of Kubernetes. In our highest touch offering, we will run clusters for you and monitor that infrastructure 24 seven. In working with so many clusters and customers with varying needs, it is a necessity to have tools that make us and our clients more efficient in our day-to-day -day work. A lot of this software we create is open source to give back to the open source community that we leverage so often. Astral is one of these open source tools, and that's the focus today. First, I want to tell you a little bit about my monitoring journey throughout my career. Ten years ago, my first position was for a large company using mostly bare metal servers and a few VMs, but those VMs were mostly used for dev and QA. So most of the monitoring that was being done was for the bare metal machines. My experience with monitoring alerts at this point revolved around statically monitoring machines that didn't change often. We're talking hundreds of hours of uptime for some of these machines. The shift from bare metal hosts into the world of containers and Kubernetes requires us to rethink some things around monitoring. In a traditional bare metal environment, the number of machines you need to monitor is usually a known quantity with a finite number of processes on each host. Easy. You set up your monitors once and you're provisioning the machine, rely on them from that point forward. When using Kubernetes, development teams are empowered to create and destroy services as necessary which means you need to be monitoring an unknown number of services. This leaves something to be desired when using traditional static monitoring that you define manually. Depending on SLA and SLOs of an application, you will likely want to be alerted if it is misbehaving. On the flip side, you don't need to keep monitoring a service once it is removed from the cluster. Granted, this may not be the case depending on how you or your organization manage deployments, but regardless, it's easier to allow software to manage this process. Datadog service is wonderful. It removes a lot of toil from our lives as Kubernetes operators. Most things just work when it comes to metrics gathering after you install the Datadog agent. We built Astro to complement the Datadog service so that monitoring workloads is automatic in the dynamic world of Kubernetes. Astro is a workload that runs inside your Kubernetes cluster and will create a set of defined monitors based on annotations put on either your workloads or a namespace that contains multiple workloads. Let's take a look at that in action. In my demo, we already have Astro running, which was installed with our provided Helm chart. We are tailing the logs of Astro in my top pane and also showing the monitors in the Datadog front end. We have configured Astro in this demo to create a set of monitors for any deployment that has the annotation Astro slash owner equals Astro. This key value combination can be configured to something else if you desire. So first things first, we are going to annotate a deployment with the key value that I specified earlier. Okay, we see in the log message here, says it's creating a new monitor. So let's refresh this front end. And there it is, we see it pop up. Now, just as important, we wanna make sure that monitor goes away if the annotation goes away. Now, the same thing would happen if this deployment was removed from the cluster altogether. Astro would remove the monitor. So here we go, we're removing this annotation and it says that it's removing the monitor for us. All right, so let's refresh. And it's gone. I'll point out that this extra monitor up here is a relic from a different cluster. Uh, so we'll ignore that for now. Uh, the next concept I want to talk about is bound monitoring. And all a bound object is the set of monitors that gets applied to every resource in a namespace. So in this case, the bound resource type is deployment. So when we add the annotation admin bound um, astro, it will create a set of monitors for every deployment in that namespace. 
All right, so we've annotated the default namespace, which when we refresh, shows basically the same monitor uh, because that deployment uh, that we annotated earlier is in the default namespace. What we're gonna do now is add a second deployment so that we can see that it's dynamic and we'll add a, a monitor for it. So here we go. We see the log message and there it is in the front end. So it did what it wanted to do, what we wanted it to do rather. And now if we remove this namespace, it should remove both monitors. Sorry, remove the uh, annotation from the namespace. Okay, there we go, they're gone. So that's about it for the demo and what Astro provides us. Uh, the Astro project is still young and growing and the community is growing with it. We hope to see you in our community Slack and maybe even open a PR to Astro to help us make this project as useful as it can be. Please check out our open source offerings at github.com slash fairwindsops and enjoy the rest of DashCon. Thanks.